Hey YouTube, this time I hope some predictions on the Trans Gamer channel. I'm actually not going to talk about hope or prediction, yay boo on me, but it has some connections to hopes and predictions. I'm hoping that Fallout 4 comes out eventually, and this is my just hoping. Now, I'm a fan of actually trying to figure out and doing games and stuff like that that appear in fictional settings, and one of my favorites is Caravan from the Fallout in the Vegas game. So, I'm lucky that I have way too many um, poker cards, and I pulled out actually three boxes right here. This is actually going into my pool for... Um, my caravan deck that I carry around. And if you don't know what caravan is, it's a game in the Fallout universe where each player has four zones. Now, players will have a hand in which they'll take so many cards and um, they'll have so many cards in your hand. Sorry if I don't have all the details exact. I'm still trying to memorize the rules because I play on the computer all the time because, well, I'm playing on Fallout. And I don't get much chance to play in person, but, you know, as they go in, each player has to put one card in each zone to begin with, and they take turns going back and forth. And your goal is to get each each zone up to 26 points or above your opponents at the end. If you go over 26, then, you know, you have to somehow reduce it if you can, or your opponent will be able to grab the point for that that zone. And the one with the most wins, of course. Now, the normal cards, the number cards, I'm going to grab some for the number cards because I didn't shuffle well. So, okay. Now that I have actually decent cards, or decent normal cards to show, number cards are obvious. And the alternate suit, like alternate suit color, or, or was it alternate suit color, and follow a direction. So, for instance, if I put my five down, I'd have to put my eight on top of it on my turn if, if I want to play my eight on it. Or I could play, I don't have a four in this hand, I guess you see. Or, face cards have something special to them. For instance, jacks remove cards, queens will reverse the direction or change the directions that you need. Jack, jack, queen. My brain just drew a blank on King, so you got part of me. But as you see, each face card has a special ability that it does that changes up the game. Um, one will move all the cards of one or of even number, or oh, I remember what the king does. <sighs> wow, I can't believe I forgot that because that's my big strategy. Kings double the value of a card. So say you have a ten, put a king on it. Um, the king then jumps up to twenty. And you can put face cards on any card within the pile, as long as, you know, it's the cards you want to affect. So one of the great strategies in the game is you can actually place kings on your opponent's cards. Like, say your opponent's hitting close to 26, and they get that 10, you just know you can really mess them over by taking out the 10. You throw the king on their 10, build them up to into their 30s, and they got to work their way down then. Um, another cool thing about this game, and why I have three poker decks here for this, is the game plays with multiple decks, and backs of cards don't matter. That's part of the fun of the game. Part of the class, like the classy style to it, or that really just wastelander style to it. And it makes it a really kind of interesting mind game kind of thing. You know, I usually suggest about 36 cards for your deck after you create your card pool. And one more rule I did forget is you can actually discard for your turn a whole pile. Well, that's Caravan, and I want to just discuss about that because I think it's a great game. And I do have a question for all you fans of Caravan out there. If you know rules for a solitaire version, I want to know because I would actually love to play solitaire on my downtime without actually logging into my game because something about playing on the tabletop is so much more satisfying. Thank you. Have a great night.